if you struggling with your self-esteem and you're wondering what maybe a block might be well i'm going to talk about the power of being honest and how that can really help your self-esteem and if you stay until the end i have an extra point for you then as well i had a major realization the other day when I was working with my accountability partner who I also share, you know, when I've got personal blocks with or uh, sometimes business blocks. And likewise, he, he does with me and I, I keep him accountable. And I shared something with him that in future I look, uh, look to share with you. Um, it's, it's a hugely, it's a health related challenge, I will say. Um, a hugely uh, deep personal challenge that I've I've had um, a bit of a challenge with for a while. And I was able to actually tell him what it was. And do you know what? It felt uncomfortable. Yet it was really, really powerful. And... There's many other areas in my life where I'm pretty confident. I've built a lot of self-esteem and it wasn't self-esteem is how much you like yourself. I always term it as and confidence is a trust in yourself. And if you don't like yourself, you're not going to have as much trust. So if you've not got good self-esteem, you're unlikely to have a good confidence and confidence is generally can be specific, but yeah. Anyway, I, I, I diversed a little bit there. Anyway, when I shared that with him, I, Realised the honesty really actually, I at the time it was uncomfortable. I was glad I did it. And he's a very encouraging guy, my accountability partner. And I knew, I know I can trust him completely. And it was just one step because it was like sharing with one person. And then I share with another person and I'm sharing with another person. And then I'm doing something about it, right? And that's it's kind of like a number one blocker in life if there was any because i've worked through quite a lot and we're all a work in progress right well there's always going to be some kind of challenge right that we get to rise through yeah it's, it's sometimes about taking small steps and i knew this and i realized i had to do something and share something and now i've got a, an action place an action plan in place also, the other day i had a i was on a podcast actually with my former confidence coach and it's, it's not to it's not going to be released until september i and basically uh my former confidence coach joe emerson she's got a really good podcast uh that i recommend you go and check out so check out joe emerson in terms of podcasts um and she uh was was coaching me so she does coaching sessions on her podcast which is amazing so you get a great variety and she's actually going for a whole coaching session with someone it's really interesting to listen to definitely recommend and i was i started off with a bit of a my my challenge was perhaps a bit of a money block i was a bit like uh, i want to really raise my income is there something getting in the way um you know doing pretty good you know i, I definitely pay the bills i've got a nice place and all those kind of things uh good job good sort of sort of pretty good on the side business and everything like that i thought with her though that i needed to raise it and actually what we got into was what did i really want from life because i was just looking for i realized i was looking for a lot of quick fixes and things i could do and i i'm, I'm always someone who jumps in and tries things i'm I know some people are blocked, but I, I believe that's the way to move forward. Yeah, I hadn't been, I mean, I have a habit of doing too many things at once, and that's never good. It, it can be good. It can be, in some ways, it's excitable. you got a lot of interest, those kind of things. Yeah, when you're trying to, like, grow in, like, a business or career, when you're trying to do too many things at once, that's just, you know, it's not sustainable, and I have to pull myself back. And we got really honest on what I wanted, and what I really wanted to do was progress in the speaking career and that was obviously what i wanted to do but i'd been limiting myself and saying oh no that's not viable you know those kind of things limiting beliefs more about life 
And when I got honest with it, I felt amazing. And do you know what? My self-esteem wasn't on the floor exactly because <laughs> it hasn't been for many, many years. And that's why I started this. Yet it went really up another level when I started being honest with those things. And that's what I really want to share with you. And I've realized when I've been honest in the past, or when I've been dishonest, that's damaged my self-esteem. When I'm talking about myself and my situation or hiding things from myself, that's damaged because it's telling yourself, or well, myself in my case, or telling yourself that I'm not going to listen to you. That's It's like you're, you've got a kid and you say, I'm not going to listen to you and I'm disregarding what you're saying. That's what you're doing to yourself when you're not honest with yourself. And that's what can be really damaging in self-esteem. Now, like I, I mentioned my first personal health challenge that I'm not go going, like I'm actually, you know, I'm pretty good in shape and things like that. I'm pre pretty healthy, but it's something very personal that I'll open up about in time. But for me, it was just talking to one person and taking those steps. And I've done that before with things in my life, right? So blocking yourself is damaging your self-esteem. And I realized I was holding myself back a bit and it was damaging my relationship by bottling this inside completely. And in like one, two, three, five years, it would not you know, be good for me. So ask yourself, how is it helping you? Maybe it's an area of your life you're being dishonest. How is it helping your self-esteem or not helping your self-esteem? How damaging could it be on you? If you just hold it in it can be very difficult to share yeah and that's why it's really important to just take small steps so let's go to some practical points and i may repeat a couple of things i've already said but i want to give you some clear actionables and kind of sum it up that have really helped me being a bit honest over the years and particularly with these recent situations as well so the first one you've got to the first step is to be honest with yourself you have to be a hundred percent honest with yourself in terms of, are you doing something you love? You know, are you happy? If you're in a relationship, are you happy in that? Um, are you okay with the things? Are oh, is there something you're hiding for yourself? You've got to be honest with yourself. And sometimes that's the and most human beings don't like this. They don't like sitting down with themselves and listening to themselves. And that's why a lot of people are challenged with self-esteem challenges. So you have to be honest with yourself, first of all. Spend 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes a day sitting in silence with yourself. Just listen to yourself every single day. The second step is, and this is kind of summing up what I said I did, is then just talking to one person about it, someone you really trust, you can really rely on. And if you're like, it's really difficult in my life, I want to talk to a stranger, call a a call, call a hotline like Samaritans or get a therapist, get someone like that. Just get someone to support you, right? Um, that's my second step is just being honest with one person in your life. And then the third one is praise yourself each step you do in terms of honesty. Like my account and B partner is really good to remind me. And even though I'm all, all about saying praise, like now and then I might forget. And he was like, remember to praise yourself. I'm like, yes, absolutely. A hundred percent. I take him that first small step. And then I'll tell someone else. I'm like, yes, well done. And I feel really good because I'm building momentum now. And it's all about being honest and that builds your self-esteem as a result. So remember to praise yourself on the way as well. So those are my, I don't want to overcomplicate it because when you're not being honest with yourself, it can be really damaging and it makes you not feel good. So I just want to really allow you to start being honest with yourself. And it's, I'm going to give you an actual one in a minute. Um, well, actually, I'll give it to you now and then I'll sum them all up. And my bonus point or extra one I really want to share is sit in silence with yourself. Again, summing up what I said already, but we're making these really clear. Sitting in silence with yourself for 10 to 15 minutes a day. Just get a pen and paper. You don't have to write anything. You can just sit there for the whole 10, 15 minutes and then write anything that comes up then. Maybe things don't come up in certain days, but just sit in silence with yourself and do that. Okay? So, and those are those are all things that have really worked for me, right? Um, getting honest with myself in certain situations in my life 
including the, the, the couple of recent ones whereby one of them was more like a realization of what I really want in life, where I wanted to go. And the other one was more of a personal challenge, obviously. But those are the steps I take. So let's sum up again. Be on, You've got to be honest with yourself. Be totally honest where you're at. If you're bottling, if you're lying to yourself, it's damaging your relationship with yourself. And that's not good for your self-esteem. The second thing, start small. Tell one person, even if it needs to be a therapist or someone. And then you can tell someone else. Like, find someone you can trust. The third one, praise yourself every single step of the way. Because we get driven on praise. So if you're not praising yourself, you're not likely to do something as much as if you're praising yourself. And then finally, sitting in silence with yourself every day so you can have those honest conversations with yourself as well for 10 to 15 minutes. So that's what I've got for you today. I appreciate you for being here. You'll improve other people's lives by being the best you. And remember, you are in control of your own self-esteem and confidence.